here in our cemetery today, and I want to talk to you about the words, the ways in which we talk about death. You know, there's so many different phrases we use. Someone's passed away. Someone's passed on to glory. They've joined the church triumphant. They're with Jesus now. They're asleep, if you will. And I want to wonder, I want to ask us, how and what words can we use that reflect our faith? Here's what I mean. There's a few passages from Scripture that I think sort of force us to think a little bit differently when we talk about people dying. The famous passage from John, chapter 11, when Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. The ones who believes in me will live even if he dies, and the one who lives and believes in me will never die. Jesus seems to say that when you and I die here on earth, that we're not actually dead. So in that sense, can we even say that our loved one has died? Or what about from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, when Paul is talking to the church about the resurrection, he says, I don't want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who are asleep, so that you will not grieve like the rest who have no hope. Paul doesn't even use the word death here or dying. He just says that they're asleep. Because those who are in Jesus know for certain that these graves are not their final resting place. That yes, even though their soul, their spirit is with the Lord today, that their body will one day be reunited again with that soul, with that spirit once more when Christ returns. And think even about the ways in which we bury people. We gather around a graveside, we mourn, but the pastor says these words. He says, may God the Father who has created this body, may God the Son who has redeemed this body by the power of his blood, and may God the Holy Spirit who has sanctified this body keep these remains until the day of the resurrection. Even at the graveside, doesn't matter if you're cremated, doesn't matter if you're buried in a casket. We recognize that death, bodily death, is not the end. Now, I won't criticize one thing or another, but I think in our vocabulary, the words that we use, they do matter. And so when we say things like passed away, we don't leave much room for the resurrection. When we say things like they're passed over onto glory, that's good too. But I think using the words of Paul, that people have fallen asleep, their bodies have fallen asleep maybe even, better captures what we believe. Or as Pastor Ben has said recently, that people have joined the church triumphant. That they're there with all the rest of the faithful, just eagerly waiting for the day in which they can return into the bodies, into their now perfect bodies when Jesus returns. I don't think it means we stop saying that people are dead. Because that pain, the loss, the holes that are in our lives are so real. But I think it calls us Our faith calls us one step further to recognize that death truly isn't the end. That just like Jesus said, everyone who lives and believes in him will never die. So as you remember your loved ones, as you remember those who have gone before you, may you find comfort, may you find hope that they are with the church triumphant, that they are with Jesus right now, but that they too are just asleep. That because of Jesus' victory over death itself, their bodies too will be raised. It's the whole reason that we gather here in the cemetery on Easter morning 
not because it's just a nice fire, but to celebrate and to remember that Jesus has defeated death itself so that we can gather around a graveside and say, yes, this earthly body is no more. But one day, one day when Jesus returns, it too will live again. Let me pray for you this day. Lord Jesus, you have won the battle. You have won the victory over sin, over death, and over, de- over the devil. We pray this day that you would help us to be hopeful, help us to have faith and trust in you, and look forward to the day when all the church triumph and when all those who have fallen asleep in you will be raised, when their bodies will be made perfect and immortal again, Father. Bless us this day as we put our hope, our trust, our everything into your hands. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord be with you today.